All right, so today we had another Warriors Den live stream, and this time around we got some interesting info. Most of it was about the testing grounds, which is something we've been waiting for, and it is now live. So if you haven't yet, feel free to boot up the game and check out the changes. If you watch these videos somewhat regularly, I'd really appreciate it if you sub to the channel, as it really helps me out. And also, feel free to join our Discord server, the link is in the description. Now let's not waste any more time and get right into it. Okay, so this phase of testing grounds has begun and it's all about Breach. There are no featured hero changes going on this time around, which is a bit disappointing to me. As you guys know, I'm all about heroes. The new heroes and hero changes are what I look forward to more than anything else. And I thought we were going to see Centurion in action again today since it's been a while, but it didn't happen, which you know, is fine they never mentioned anything like that was going to happen so that's my fault for you know getting hyped up for it they did mention the scent rework and why it isn't here yet and why we're not playing it today basically they're still working on it and there still is no estimated time of arrival warlord and gladiator changes were basically unanimously positive so they put them in the game quickly they told us basically what we were talking about the other day. It isn't ready. They want it to be nice and polished and ready to go before they throw him back into the game. There are still a few things they want to work on and there are things that they need to figure out first. So Centurion mains and honestly everyone else who's been waiting so that he's more interested in a fight. We still got some waiting to do. We also didn't see anything about year four today but they basically let us know that we will see something towards the end of the month. Before we get into the changes for Breach, there was new content of the week. This time around, it's a batch of signatures for all the heroes. As usual, there are some pretty good ones. I really like Tiandis, Aramusha's, and Yorms this time around. And then there are, of course, the silly ones like Nusha's, Lawbringers, and Raiders. Raiders was something else this time around. You're either going to like it or not. So yeah, new signatures. Now on to the breach changes. They switched up quite a bit when it comes to this mode. There are changes to the rewards that the Guardian gives. There's changes to how respawn works, how tickets work, and how quickly objectives are done. Also, they mentioned that single pick is something that they want to try out in breach. So there's a bit to test out when it comes to the mode and hopefully people are going to play it long enough to give any real feedback. I'm just worried that without any hero changes or anything, that people would just go back to Dominion after a few games. Anyways, let's get to the specifics. First off, let's talk about respawning. So the first thing you'll notice when you load into a game is that the attackers no longer have any tickets. They won't have tickets for the first two phases, they'll receive tickets if they get past the second gate when it's time to fight the commander, and the attackers will receive tickets based on how much health the ram has when they break through the second gate. If the ram has full health, they'll get 22 tickets. If the ram is at half, they will get 15 tickets. And if the ram is in critical condition, they'll only receive six tickets. When it was rumored that Breach would be the subject of this phase of testing grounds, I immediately thought of the Yorm event and guessed that they'd remove tickets in general, but instead we got this, which is fine for the most part, at least in the few games I've played, but time will tell how this plays out. Another change that affects respawning is the respawn timer. The timer has now been reduced to a flat 20 seconds no matter what your renown is, which is a plus in my book. I never really liked how respawn timer worked in the first place, and now we'll be able to get back into the action quicker, which just lends into Breach being a faster mode now, which is something we'll get to in a little bit. So those are the changes for respawning, so let's move on to the objectives, which received quite a few changes, including the Guardian. So first up, the Ram. The Ram no longer heals itself after breaching through the outer gate, so the first gate that you break through will no longer heal the Ram. The Ram is also a bit faster, it moves more quickly by default, and moves faster than it did before while someone is pushing it. Its docked speed is also faster, the charge by default is now 40 seconds down from 50, and the boosted speed is down to 12 seconds from 15, which will help it get through those gates more quickly, which it will need since it won't heal after that first gate. The cauldron now does less damage to the ram as well, dealing 750 damage instead of 900, and the war banner, or the flag, 
will now only give a 750 health shield to the ram instead of 1200. So if the attackers manage to get the flag and the defenders drop the cauldron on it, that shield is gone. They cancel each other out. There won't be any more leftover shield. The ramparts also received a small change as well in terms of how fast you can capture it. The base capture speed has been bumped down to 30 seconds from 40 and if boosted it'll take 15 seconds instead of 20. And lastly the Guardian has seen a few changes. They're trying to make the Guardian uh, worthwhile. They don't want it to be as much of a time sink and they want going over there to mean something. So the Guardian will spawn two and a half minutes after the first gate is broken and he'll spawn again after another two and a half minutes if he's been taken out. The rewards he grants to anyone that takes him out and their teammates within a 15 meter radius is full health, full shields, instant revenge, infinite stamina for two minutes, a thousand percent increase against pikemen for two minutes, 50% damage reduction from pikemen, and you'll also have the red eyes effect on while the rewards are active, which I think is pretty cool. Of course, the red eyes is just a placeholder and they'll probably make some effect for it later on, but if they can do this, I'm sure that they could do it for other effects and how cool would it be if your idle effect would activate when you popped revenge. Even if it only applied to certain effects, that would be really cool. Of course, if you die, you'll lose the rewards as expected. They also removed the fire flask from the guardian, which is a nice change in my book, as now we'll be able to take him out faster and there isn't as much waiting around. They also mentioned that single pick is something that they want to try out for breach. They mentioned that it's because Breach was always designed with the objective of fostering team strategies and tactics, and that the objectives in the mode have been developed with the idea of suiting to certain types of playstyles and heroes. And now that the amount of characters have doubled since launch, the chance of you being unable to pick the character you want is about a 1 in 10 chance on average, of course outside of a new hero release. So they're going to try this out in the testing grounds. Of course, at the time of me recording this, single pick doesn't actually work and we can still have multiple of the same hero on a team. When single pick does work though, I'm worried that we'll see people just back out of games if they don't get the hero they want. Even if there are 26 heroes and the chances that your teammates pick your hero is low, I have a feeling that people will still be stubborn and rather than playing another hero and trying to pick up the slack that your team may have with this composition, They'll just back out as soon as the match starts and requeue so that they can play their hero. I know this will happen when breach orders are active, but we'll just have to wait and see. And that's the rundown for the changes in breach for the most part, at least that's what's recorded. You never really know with this game, anything can slip through the cracks and end up in our hands. I'm still a little disappointed that there aren't any hero changes uh, that were announced anyways. As I said, you never really know. But I would have loved to see at least one hero get worked on and thrown in here so that I'd have a reason to want to play this mode. After a few games, I've already seen what I need to see and I'm probably going to go back to Dominion. If we had something new to play with, I would play as much as I can. I have to blame myself for being so hyped up for it, you know, expecting a lot of hero changes and whatnot. Because Yubi never mentioned that there would be hero changes in this phase of testing grounds. I just assumed there would be. But me being let down about hero changes doesn't change the fact that these are meaningful changes at the end of the day. Breach Nita worked, and despite my thoughts on single pick, at least it's being tested, which is all I can really ask for when it comes to large changes like that. We just have to wait and see how this all plays out for Breach. I do like how they sort of shifted how Breach will be played. Now defenders won't just be hunting attackers all game, and it gives them a reason to focus on the objective a bit more. And now the attackers don't have to be worried about getting caught alone playing an objective and getting wiped wasting a life. I like that the mode is faster on average because a really close breach game could take almost half an hour and the faster movement speeds of the ram and rampart capture will speed things up. Yubi really wants us to leave feedback and play as much as we can within these next two weeks so if you want to leave feedback you can. Anyways that's all I've got for this video. Pretty interesting stuff going on. I'm going to play the testing grounds for as long as I can stand playing Breach. Now that the testing grounds are live, we'll just be waiting for the year 4 stuff. Anyways, I do want to know what you guys think, so be sure to talk to me down in the comments about anything we talked about in this video. 
And as always, if you like the video, feel free to leave a like and sub if you're new. And I will talk to you guys in the next video.